Hi guys, today I will be sharing with you how to pass your SDU exams. Um, what are the things that you can uh, do simple things and be able to pass your exam? I myself is um, from Pakistan actually, and I've been studying in Denmark. I had my AP degree and then I had my uh, bachelor's degree. <clears throat> And now I'm doing studies, uh, my master in SDU in Odense, Students uh, University. Um, I have a lot of friends who are from Bangladesh and Nepal and India who are actually quite struggling um, with their educations and um, most of them get failed. Um, I also had the same experience when I started my AP uh, degree. Um, I was also struggling as well. Uh, during my education as well. But then I found a pattern that really helped. So I'm gonna try in this video to actually uh, go through some of the things that helped me to pass my exam. So let's begin. <clears throat> so basically the first thing I do is that um, if you are an SDU student, you have your home uh, area where you have all your courses. And the very first thing I do is that um, now I have to take my um, advanced management and principal course, I basically go here. And the very first thing I do is I found the course perspective, what is it's gonna be on the course, uh, which could be found in resources. I already have it. Uh, basically it's course syllabus. So your exam preparation actually start with your course syllabus. So you need to know uh, which book you are going to study. And I'm gonna just give you a preview and how do I uh, try to manage my time with it. <clears throat> so basically this is your uh, uh, course overview. It shows uh, what's from the beginning, uh, what uh, program you're studying, uh, how many ETCs it has, but the most important, what is that the teacher is going to teach you in this uh, class? So you have a number of lectures make sure that you are present in all of the lecture and listen what the teacher is saying. And then you have the final uh, exam and that's where you preparation. You need about 15 to 10 days and every day you go through and each, uh, each uh, um, what you call that uh, class which you had. Um, basically what I do here, I go down here, where is the reading section? This is the most important part. So if the first lecture was this one, I go to the PowerPoint and I will read the PowerPoint and then I know that there is a book is a chapter one. So I have this book here um, where I will be uh, reading the chapter and at the same time I will have a PowerPoint. So I will go back and forward between the book, PowerPoint. Uh, once I have done that, uh, then I will basically <clears throat> basically move to the second step. Uh, in my case, I have to read some articles and um, the article, reading article makes sense when you have uh, read the PowerPoint as well and the book. So this is gonna help you a lot, uh, basically. So if you kind of go through that and the most important part is that there should be in the end of all the references uh, that the teacher is using, in this case, it's not here, but um, there are some other teachers which has also listed all their references. So when you're writing exam, you have an easy way to uh, copy your references. The other thing I basically do is that before my exam, I would actually start preparing for my exam that what I will do because some assignments are home-based uh, and some you would have to do it, but it's important that you have your cover page set up, uh, your exam number set up and all this thing. Um, and also you have the margins and all this thing. Uh, for this exam, what I did was basically I had already all the, um, the, <clears throat> the theories and the terms that I wanna use. And I listed it up and, and I already have all my uh, citation and references. So that helped me a lot because then I don't have to worry about finding my citation and references. I already have all the definitions on the page. 
uh, most important de definition. So when I know that I need to use this definition, I'll just copy paste uh, and I already have the reference on the bottom. So then it will be super easy for me to uh, finish my exam even in a half of the time. So I think this is the basic uh, practice you could do when you are writing your SDU exam. Um, and um, if you need some uh, tutoring or help with writing your assignment exam, uh, I'm based in Utah, so feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'll be for sure try my best to help you guys. I had a bachelor's in innovation and entre entrepreneurship, uh, AP degree in marketing and management, and now I'm doing my master in sustainability, uh, sustainable tourism development. I also have studied, uh, I'm also graduated as a civil engineer and I'm also graduated as a BSc marine transportation. So I have a lot of knowledge. Um, if you are from Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, or any other country who are studying in Odense and STU, uh, having a difficulty with your AP degree marketing, uh, AP degree bachelor's or master's, I will try my best to help you. Uh, I do tutoring. So uh, let me know. Um, you can call me on WhatsApp and uh, get to know more information about me. Thank you. I hope this video helped you guys.